Good morning. Today I'm going to talk about the changes I've seen in my skin since using Tretinoin, good and bad, and the other products that I use. Susan from the channel Little Poet, last December she put a video up and it absolutely shocked me when the first part of her video was my face. I think it was seven years ago. And it made me stop and think about a few things. The reason Susan did that was because I was the first person to shout out her channel, but I was really surprised to see it. And I kept that in my mind. So when I wanted to do my yearly skincare update, that I was gonna talk about that. I'm also gonna talk about the products I use, some changes I may make moving forward. Not sure about that. And of course, there's always a little chit chat and a giveaway. That's my, honestly, that's my main reason for doing this. But I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the changes first. And throughout the video, I'm gonna try to put some footage, so, and I'll put the date on it. But what I noticed is what is not working, and it is fine with me, because I am not gonna have lasers, fillers, Botox, surgery. I'm just not, because I'm, I'm fine when I start getting the wrinkles. I'm fine, I'm closer to 69 than I am 68. And every wrinkle I have, I've earned it, and I'm fine with that. But it's just been really interesting for me to see what I can do at home and get as good results as I possibly can get. And I'll share with you what I see in the changes in my skin. I definitely look older than I did seven years ago. My face is a little thinner. I have lost weight. Don't know if it, that's it. And I'm getting these right here, these little jowls, and I'm fine with that. But surprisingly, I really thought these, these are your marionette lines. I really thought they had gotten a lot worse. And when I compare it to old videos, they're not, they're not a lot worse. That's something that anybody who does skincare needs to either take a photo or better yet, some videos before they start. The nasal labial folds are still okay. My 11s are holding their own, and I've always had wrinkles across my forehead, and they don't bother me a bit. My crow's feet are not any worse at all. That really surprises me. And something else I've noticed in my skin, when I first, before I started Retin-A, I had two, one right here and one right here. They were, con they were deep wrinkles. When I was not moving my face, they were, they were there. And now if I lift my eyebrows up, sometimes you can see them, sometimes you can't, but they did disappear. And with my neck, I still do the same thing that I have done for a long time. I use a drop or two of the Kakai oil on my neck every other night. And then the, the night that I don't use it, I use the 0 0.05 Retin-A and and I just put it down to here. Sometimes I'll put, some, I'll pat it here, but I will show you my neck isn't bad in wrinkles. I think I've kept a lot of wrinkles away, but I, I do have this and it's okay. I don't know if I'm gonna try to do anything as far as like try to find a product that work, but I cannot stand neck creams. I've tried a couple and they just make me feel grimy and dirty. I don't know what it is, but I don't like products around my neck. As far as demonstration, I am going to link some videos below. I watched all three of the videos and I'll show you how to get to the information that I'm talking about. This is last year's skincare update. And what I have done is I have gone through the information and made, a, made notations on anything that is different on a laptop or a desktop until you see that where it says show more. And then once you click show more, it'll expand it. And right there I have a note that I started using the Ordinary Glycolic Toner. And in March, my lip therapy device broke and I haven't repurchased it yet. I'm not sure if I will or not. And then on down, if you keep going down, you'll see the links to the products that I talk about. You can click on them, you can write them down and see if it's anything that you're interested in. And this is my skincare extras from last year. And it's about everything extra that I do. Derma rolling, shaving my face, exfoliation. I think I talk about eyebrows and eyelashes. I don't know that I've changed anything there but I'm gonna show you there's chapters on both of these videos. 
And as you can see, you can scroll. These are called chapters, and I do demonstrations on both of the videos. You can just go to the part you're interested in and, and check that out. And here I'm going to go to the show more section. And if I talk about somebody, I always do channels mentioned first. These are the women that I mentioned in my video. And then there is my related videos. So when I tell you I'll link something below, that is where you can find it. And if something's not available anymore, I'll, I'll type in not available. If you're using a mobile device, there is a small right there that is a little, looks like a V and you click on it. I circled more, clicked more. And on the side is the information, the, the products I use, the videos that I refer to. And that's how you do it on a mobile device. I want to talk a little bit about my thumbnail. This photo I use, is it's because it's the only thing I have from 2014 before I started using any Retin-A or any of my other products. I used a camcorder to, to, on the 2014 photo and now what I use is the iPhone 8 and I don't have any lighting, any special lighting. I would not filter anything even if I knew how to. To me, it's just really surprising how much less hooded my eyes are. And the skin on my eyelids are actually firmer than they were there. They're not crepey. And I do not put Retin-A on my eyelids. And I talk about that in my skincare video. How much better my skin looks, even though in the 2014, I was wearing CC Plus Cream and lipstick. And in the one from now, the 2022, I had on clear lip gloss and no makeup. The circles around my eyes, the puffiness, there's just been so many positive things that I have done without having any type of procedures, fillers, or anything. I will list the information below this video under the show more section that I just showed you. And I'm gonna give some extra attention to the, pro to the companies that have provided gifts for you. It's Timeless Skincare is the very first product I tried after Retin-A and I love what I use from them. They're paraben and sulfate free, if that's important to you. They're cruelty free, which is very important to me. And it's important that they have a, a way to recycle your bottles. Uh, you just have to sign up on their website. And they also have larger bottles. They're fragrance free. And when I started using it, that was the most cost-effective product. And for me, it still is. In the morning, I use the Timeless Vitamin C plus E plus Ferulic Acid, and I just use one pump. And I don't buy these in the refills. I you do the one ounce, I keep it in the refrigerator, and it's never gone bad. I also use the Matrixyl 3000 and the Hyaluronic Acid. And what I do, I fill this up to half with one and half with the other, and I just use it out of the dropper bottle. And at night, before I go to bed, I keep this at my bedside table, and I use the hydrating eye cream. I haven't tried the one for dark circles, but this has, I've been using this for six years. So these are the products that I love and I use every day from Timeless. The next product that I use is from Dermatology, and this is a universal tinted moisturizer with an SPF of 46. And I love this for moisture, but it does not give me any coverage. In fact, I'm gonna show you today, and I'll get up close to the camera and show you how it looks on half of my face and we'll see if we can see a difference. This isn't enough to provide, you know, total sunscreen, but that's the amount that I use because I really like it for my moisturizer. And I'm gonna come in closer. See how red, my face is red. And now I'll put it on this cheek. What I like about it is it doesn't have a white cast and that's what I like about the tinted part. But for me, it doesn't give me any coverage. And most of the time, that's fine. You know, that's all that I want. Dermatology is cruelty-free. They're also considered a medical-grade skincare. I'm not really into that title. I never have been. I think if it's, in my personal opinion, if it's medical-grade, you need a prescription for it. But they do make really good products. Like Timeless products, they're also made in the United States, and, and I appreciate that. I've also tried from Dermatology, I tried their facial cleanser. I loved it, with the exception of, I use my cleanser to take all my makeup off 
And if I used something to take my eye makeup off first, it would have worked. But I wanted to just to wash my face and not burn my eyes. But it really made my skin feel good. And that's what's important to me, is how my skin feels after I've cleansed it. I, I want it to feel supple. I want it to feel clean, but I don't want it to feel tight whatsoever. And 100% of everything I'm gonna talk about, I have purchased. I purchased the Dermatology Peptide Night Cream. And I got this because I got this when it was 30% off. And if I didn't, it was cheaper for me to buy this and not pay shipping and handling. And I got this at 30% off. I think this sells for $46. I have, a, um, I have a few discount codes and I'll leave them below. I've got like a 20% off, but I've tried it on my neck and I like it. And this is, I'm trying to kind of, well, I'll tell you when I get to the It Cosmetics, I'll tell you why I'm trying this, but I've tried that. And I tried their vitamin C plus E plus ferulic acid and it was excellent, but it was a lot more expensive than the Timeless or the Skin Diva. I couldn't tell a difference on the side that I'd used it on and then when I compared it to Timeless, so I just never ordered that again. The other skincare company I really like is Skin Diva. And what I use from Skin Diva is their Ar Argaline, Argaroline, I'm not sure, but it is 20% Argaroline and it has Hyaluronic Acid and Matrixyl 3000. And my skin likes both of those. So that's why I use this. I opened this bottle 11, 28, 21, and my other bottle was like 20 months old. So, and it still wasn't empty, but I just use one drop of this. And one drop will do right here, right here, my 11s, and right around my eyes. It's all it takes is one drop. When I first used this, I concentrated it on this wrinkle right here. I had a etched in line, one that was, well, actually a static wrinkle. And I used it on this side of my face for I don't know how long it was and that actual line went away. So that's why I still use it on both to kind of keep it away. I said, I do like the Skin Diva Vitamin C plus E plus Frulic Acid very well. It comes in the glass bottle with the dropper and I like it. I, and if it's on 30%, if it's 30% off or sometimes 20, whatever, I will order it. They do make my favorite Derma Rollers. They're, they're, they're perfection. And once I found their derma rollers and how well they worked, I haven't purchased anything else until recently. Timeless changed from ha having the disc type rollers to having the needles. So I ordered some and I'll let you know what I think about them when I open them up. But I was glad to see that time, I never used to recommend timeless derma rollers, but I think I probably will be able to. Skin Diva doesn't have any fragrance. It is cruelty free. It is paraben free. And I just think it's a real good product. And so I ordered something when Skin Diva had their 30% off and it's Call It A Night. And it is a glycolic acid cream. It's a moisturizer that you can use at night. And I'm trying to see what works for my skin. So that's why I ordered two different types. I think this was like $17.99. Normally maybe it's $24.99. And I've used it on my neck and up in here and I, it didn't cause me any reactions whatsoever. That is a potential, but it's not there yet for me. But great ingredients. And a product that I really like, I purchased this June 21st, 21. So it's a year old, I would say. It's the Ordinary Glycolic 7% Toning Solution. I put a few drops on a quarter of a shiseido cotton and it does my whole face. I leave it on for a few minutes and then I clean it off. Now we're gonna get to IT Cosmetics. I am using three of their products and I like all three of their products. And I don't know what I'm gonna do if they quit making two of them, I will tell you that. I use this every morning. This is a IT Miracle Water. It just does something great for my skin. I never thought I would buy a Miracle Water, any type of water. That's what I remove the glycolic toner with. That's what I use every morning on my face and I love it. And sometimes they'll have it half price on Ulta. I buy it when they have a sale. And I already have my bottle for next year. One bottle lasts over a year for me. I'm not tight. I just want to use the least amount of products with the best benefit. If I wasn't getting benefit, I'd use more. And the other product I use every day that I don't know what I'll do with it and they quit making it is the Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream. One jar will last a year. I've done 
this is my, I think my third big jar that I've used and I really, really like it. And the cream I sometimes use at night, this is the one I'm trying to find a backup for if they quit making it. And this is the It Secret Sauce. One jar lasts me well over a year. I only use it when my skin feels like it needs it. But when it needs it, it needs it. When it doesn't, it doesn't. I just kind of touch my face and I look at it in the mirror and then I decide, does it, do I need any moisture? Do I not? So that's why I bought the one from Dermatology and the one from Skin Diva in case they quit making this. I wanna see, I wanna have a backup, I really do. And this is the product that I think has given, I know that has given my skin the best boost and it's Retin-A. And I'm gonna put a video here and there if you're starting Retin-A, some things to look out for. It is not for everybody, but my skin loves it. It makes it more supple, it, it, it helps the collagen, it, help, it it also exfoliates, basically, you know? I mean, it just really keeps my skin in good condition. I buy the 45 gram tube, and what I do is I get a, a prescription from my doctor. I, I want a physical prescription, because when I get home, I will go to goodrx.com, and I will put in Retin-A and 45 grams, and I use a 0.1% strength is what I use. And right before I did this video, I checked it and it was $60.73 in our area at CVS. The last tube lasted me 15 months, so that is a very, very affordable product. And the small tube is 20 grams, and the price of the small tube was $39.13. So, you know, about $40 for 20 grams and about $61 for 45 grams. And I just ran out of it and I'm using right now, I'm using my 0.5% because I'm going to the doctor in two days and I'll get my physical prescription. And before I talk about the giveaway, I wanna tell you Jim is released from the doctor, he's doing great and he can drive and that's a blessing. So uh, if you're still here, this is a giveaway. And I'm gonna go in alphabetical order from the companies and what they're giving. The first company is Dermatology and they are going to provide five of my viewers the Universal Tinted Moisturizer with the SPF of 46. Skin Diva is gonna provide three of my viewers a bottle of the 20% Argerline that has Metrixyl 3000 and Hyaluronic Acid. And Timeless Skin Care is going to provide five gift sets of their Bright and Glowy Kit. And I'm gonna to have to read what's in it because I'm not sure. I have it written down right here. In the box, it has the 20% vitamin C plus E plus rulic acid, the 100% pure hyaluronic acid serum, the dark circle eye cream, squalane oil, and hyaluronic and matrixyl 3000 cucumber spray. So five of you will be getting that. I do want to mention they also have, uh, Timeless also has a 10% vitamin C that has the uh, E and fruit acid. I think they also have a half ounce. I forgot to mention that. So if you wanna be in this giveaway, let me think what I want you to do. I'm gonna put these words on the screen. Put in the order of your preference, what you would like. The first person's name that is drawn will get their first choice. I'm gonna shorten it to D-E-R-M if you're interested first in the dermatology. The second, I'm just gonna put S-K-I-N, that means you would like Skin Diva. And the third one is going to be Time, T-I-M-E. And if you can make a sentence out of that, that'll make me happy. <laughs> I enjoy reading your comments, I really do. I'm gonna also announce in a few minutes the winners of my last giveaway. But, and all you have to be is 18 years old or older to be considered to win this giveaway. I use Random Comment Picker and all these will be sent to you from the company, and I'm not paying for any of it. They are giving these to you, and I, I appreciate it so much. I didn't. I did contact It Cosmetics, and I cannot. And they didn't reply to me, and I cannot contact. I cannot find the Kakai Oil person, and I haven't been able to, because they were always really good about giving it away, and I don't use enough of the ordinary that they'd even know I existed. So anyway. This time, I'm going to close the giveaway after one week, a week from the Sunday in case somebody's on vacation and didn't get a chance. I usually close them in three days, but I'm not going to. 
Now I want to announce the winner of my last giveaway. And these items I purchased myself to give to you because they were things I really, really love. The items are the, the set of four lip liners, Everlast lip liners from BK Beauty. Love them. And I absolutely love the 101 brush. I've talked about it so many times. It's from BK Beauty. And I'm going to announce who got them. The first name that popped up was Sheila Dennis. Congratulations, Sheila. And the second name that came up in Random Comment Picker is Beth Sullivan. Congratulations, Beth. Both of you leave a comment below and I will be able to reply to your comments because I want to let you know how to get in touch with me so I can get these in the mail to you. It is all good. Thank you so much for watching, for giving me the thumbs up, leaving a comment, and, and just hanging in there with me. I appreciate you more than you will ever know. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Take care. Batten. So I'm kind, anyway. I don't use, for the value, and at the time that was the most, Im and for those product, those in both of the great ingredients, after I, and the price of the 